What did you want to talk to me about? No, it can wait. No. We move on from this. Um, Nightingale, conspirators. They buried their trails deeper than I've ever seen. But last night we came up with something. He was part of the inner circle, Harry. He gave the order to bomb the hotel. But they smeared him. They forced him to resign. It was a smokescreen. Everything's in there. Never feel like you just can't go on, Ruth. Can't go on. Must go on. Only 30 years old, but should be quaffable. This is a surprise. Come in. Forgive the haste. It's cold here. Cold, remote, and forbidding. Bliss. So are you rattling around this place all alone? Well, not for long, sadly. Julia and her sister come up tomorrow. How are you, Harry? I mean, really. I'll be all the better for this. To Ross. Ross. Mm. Highly quaffable. I wanted to ask you, was there anything I could do for Ross? Some recognition I could procure for all the work she did? Well, come on, man, make yourself at home. Still got your gloves on. I don't suppose it's worth my calling for help? Making myself sick, anything like that. How did you find out? Ruth. That dogged, brilliant bitch. Will it hurt, Harry? Not for long. My family? It'll look like a heart attack. There'll be no disgrace. Thank you. I'm truly sorry about Ross. Even if the plan had worked, I would have regretted her sacrifice. You know, I always liked you, Harry. I envied you, actually. Your sure moral sense. Thing is, though, that kind of certainty limits a man. Keeps him small. That's why you'll never have what I had with Nightingale. A chance, even for just one moment, to really change everything. 
you'll never know what that's like. The former Home Secretary's autopsy came through, Harry. Heart attack. How sad. Not really. <laughs>